Hey there, what's going on? We're back today with episode one, part two of Telltale's Batman, the enemy within. Things were actually getting pretty crazy in the first part of this episode. So let's get back in and find out how this is all going to play out. One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. I can't believe Lucius died. held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. I'm hoping this is just like an elaborate ruse or something like that. And he didn't actually die, but... We have no clue right now. <sighs> you were always there for me, Lucius. From the very beginning. I'm gonna miss you. He was a good man. To lose him like this, it's, it's hard to bear. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Batman's not gonna Riddler's let him get away. the heart of our operations. And tore a family apart in the process. Believe me, Alfred, I know how you feel. But we can't make this about revenge. Riddler is a threat to Gotham, and that's why he has to be stopped. As long as he is stopped. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. Probably a good idea. She can use all the support she can get. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Your dad was like family to me. If, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. Just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well. I hope it was worth it. Oh, now she's pissed. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just... <laughs> trying to wrap my head around it all. It's all the Riddler's fault. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. We're gonna what catch that piece of shit. What on that could have caused that? Goddamn Riddler. It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. 
Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hot, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Oh, no. Taking a turn for the worse now. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. Uh, maybe lying was the right choice, but I didn't really want to do that. I'm so sorry, really. It's, it's such a shame. At least he went out with a bang, right? Freaking Joker? Now, for that, we can all be grateful. Are you serious? You wedding crap? I mean, like, my father. Well, fucking no, crash in a funeral? Judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a. Whoa, whoa. What the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. What does that say? Sorry you're sick? Are you friggin' serious? Goddamn Joker? I knew you'd be hurting. See, I thought it might make you feel better. You think this is funny? My friend is dead. I got it wrong, didn't I? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Gotta be quiet as church mice, right? <laughs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do. You shouldn't even be free! <laughs> How do they let you out of Arkham? Like Arkham. You're, a you're absolutely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. Had to she be always sure. She had a soft spot for me. Some if sort of coercion? could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend. A father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. Hey, I told you no. You know, you, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham, sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're, you're going to do right by me. Aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I never made that promise. I got into a lot of trouble for oh, what come you on. did, Bruce. You saw that place, saw those doctors. You're already in enough trouble. You see, I met some inspiring people out here, made some new friends, made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? 
You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. No. No chance, not Joker. No chance, John. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I am not getting involved. Ooh, disappointing. Oh, now he's probably going to blow his lid. <laughs> You know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. You just makes me want, I don't know, flash out. Shh. 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 We're here to mourn. Please, you trust me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. Just tell them you're sorry and let it go. Go. He's very sorry. We both are. I am. I'm, I'm sorry. You should be allowed to enjoy the funeral in peace. That's pretty insensitive. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Even for someone like the Joker. First, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. Uh, just from the news. The guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. His hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. Tell me where he is. I am not messing around, Sean. Oh, Bruce. I missed your fire. I really did. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. No dice, crazy pants. If I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down, it'd be just like the old days. Do not get involved. When this clearly means so much to you. No, no. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of this. Just meet my friends later, like I asked. Oh, looks Look, like I don't have much I of a choice. Stay my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Can't believe he forced me into a meeting. God damn it, Joker! It's, uh, it's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this, this trust between us. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. Oh, you don't know the half of it. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Oh, I'm gonna have to go talk to them. John? He gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail.
Yeah, probably best to inform the police so it doesn't look like Batman is Enjoy involved with Bruce view. Wayne. Eh, hard to do these days. There's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Eh, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that uh, guy. You don't know the half of it, man. Spend some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Wayne's still in one piece. It's the dead who deserve your sympathy. They have it. Them and their families. You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. <laughs> Looks like gang activity's heating up along 43rd. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Man, that bat gauntlet's so cool! Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Eh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. If this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. No doubt. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. Probably recruiting Puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. She stop at nothing. And I mean nothing to get her man. That doesn't sit right with me. As far as law enforcement goes, Jim, you are the best of it. I don't know many cops with as much heart as you. Uh, I appreciate your saying that. Waller, she doesn't see that as a strength. She's busy recruiting her task force her X. On breaks in the Riddler case. Well, if there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what yeah. went down at the casino. Let's not tell her. I don't want Waller involved. You and I can handle Riddler, just like it's always been. Glad to see we're on the same page. We gotta watch out for her. She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. <laughs> I tell uh, you, Batman. Sounds like she her. She keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll grab a car and meet you at Riddler's hideout. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come out. All right, see you there, Jim. Somebody's no definitely told. here. I kept Waller and her agency people out of the loop on this. Definitely Just the two of us. Someone's lair. We can handle this without her. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Someone's keeping a scrapbook. Vane, isn't he? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to actually go downstairs. Maybe? Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh no! 
set off one of his traps. It's, it's stuck. No way to open it from the inside. Then how do we get out? We go in. After you. That's just great. Give me a good, honest crack house any day. Wouldn't that be way easier? Is it booby trapped? Oh, no. God. Who's that? Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. So she probably already knows about this place then. One of his pupils is fully dilated, the other's contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. man bit his tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock or a sudden jolt. His fingers are gone. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. One shoe is missing. The sole of the other one's almost completely melted through. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. Alright, so take a look at some of the surroundings. Masks. Each one missing a different facial feature. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. Safes with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. There are blades inside. And a lot of blood. Huh. We know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers. lining the walls. Riddler has converted this entire place into a giant Faraday cage. Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Prototype of the trap he used on Mori. The armor, extremely sturdy, ensuring there's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. Oh, he learned from last time. <sighs> this is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. Well, he is an insane dude. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Uh, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. Must be locked in place. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? The 
glass. It's polarized. So it is. It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. Tons of clues. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. Oh, so that means we have to get into the friggin' chamber. Is that what he means? Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. Uh, it's kind of crazy, but what are you going to do, right? I'm thinking that's what's going to happen eventually. For the answer in one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. I recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Oh, shit. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. So he's got inside information on all her agents. What does it say? E, for someone Riddler's so smart, alone. you sometimes act wonderful. real stupid. More psychos to worry Those about. resources were not for you, colleagues. crackpot feud with that they man. They don't see eye to eye. Apparently, they don't like his beef with me. Hey. Maybe we'll get lucky, they'll kill each other. <laughs> you knew that, and you went ahead anyway. All you gain with your games is attention, which we really don't want right now. Stick to the plan, or we'll have to make changes. From H. He sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mari for a while now. She must have known. I bet she did. You win from Rumi. All right, I'll take the deal just so long as you stay away from my family. You can pick up the product at the usual place. I'll remind you that I've complied with all of your requests up to this point. After this transaction, we're done. One shoe melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. to the foot. No. Nope. The floor of the box heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out but couldn't, so he threw off his shoe. Is that it? Huh. 
Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll find... I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now how is that for motivation? Screw you! Oh. Oof. Damn. Knock the fuck the out. Bound while he beat him. You got a VR in that cow or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. Probably the chair first. And then the safe, right? No, that doesn't make sense. No. He let us go. Oh, he let the guy go. The yeah. agent woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. And then after he got out, he kicked off his shoe. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. Turn the knob the other way, it says. Next, he probably lost his fingers. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beeline for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers. And there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes. Mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Any mistake could be my last. I won't be able to do this without you, Joe. Wow, well, when you put it like that, let's win this game. Here we go. It's rising, Batman. Ah, wrong way. That's what that agent did. You gotta crisp up real good, you don't get a move on. Almost make out a message. see trouble and one tells no lies ask the third if he hides the prize the monkeys see no evil hear no evil speak no evil but which one is he referring to whichever one it is the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed yeah i'll check ah, damn it they're still locked shut they should unlock when i open this door What the is that? Hell? Oh, that's what did it. The sonic device. You're almost done. 
That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Oh, damn! The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Not that one. Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe better be worth all this pain. What is that shit? Missile? It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up. I'm closing in on you, Riddler. We escaped your twisted puzzle. It's only a matter of time before I find you. Time is one thing you don't have. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes. They're no friends of mine. No, they're not. They'll smile to your face to get what they want. The Agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The Agency made me. Oh, God, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure. But she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. Whatever happened to you, it doesn't let you off the hook. You're still responsible for all the pain you've caused. You think I'm asking for mercy? I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? when you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. Something only a pragmatist would do. Don't you dare put your crimes on me. <laughs> Come on, Batman. I gave the puzzle to you, didn't I? It's not my fault you couldn't solve it. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! Game on indeed. Now Gordon's probably going to be like super pissed.
I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency, smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower... You got a level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? Lucius Fox was an ally of mine. That got him killed. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you... It doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? You are your own man, Jim. You'll come to your own decision. Oh, I mean, I wasn't again? born yesterday. That's twice this time. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. Oh, to hell with it. I never heard what I heard in there. All right? Batman. I'm sorry for your loss. All right, that's going to bring us to the end of Episode 1, Part 2 of Telltale's Batman. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.